Hello everyone. Um, we're back. We're back. We're back. It's your favorite couple. Um, once again, this is Brie Light. Um, thank you all for watching. I know it's been a minute, but you know, we're back again. And I have missed you. I can't speak for him, but I have missed you guys so much. It's, we know we haven't posted in a while. Forgive us and we're back. Oh man, it's been work. So, you know, we've been busy uh, going back and forth. So, um, you know, I feel like bringing you guys up to speed. I know we're still behind um, in our posting, but uh, we'll still bring you guys up to speed. Um, in our previous video, we started showing you um, the work in progress on um, our superstructure. And so at this point, um, so we'll be talking about the design pillars right in front of the building or right in front of the house. I think we have about 10 design pillars. We had an option of um, either, you know, uh, coming to cast on site or buy an already casted one. I know most videos that are on don't really talk about um those pillars because it looks like it's normal once you're building so we decided that take everything one by one and let you know how we got to do this thing so that you you also probably have an option when it comes to this um this designed pillars so they have um, different types of pillars depending on what type that you want they have um you know the round ones with regards to the round ones that um this mold that they use to do it so you can decide to go to the to go for the round ones or go for the you know the the normal four square pillars yes so and i also believe there are different sizes when it comes to um those pillars um our contractor said we should go for um 18 inches but we couldn't or we did not get the 18 inches uh, uh mold box so we just decided to go with um 16 inches and the 16 inches is pretty much what you guys are seeing right there okay that is the 16 inches and um which is quite huge okay looking at the size of the building you don't want something small yeah, yeah you want something big to match the the, the, the building. building yes the yeah. building itself so we, we sent our contractor out there you know to get this the pre-casted ones correct that is a picture of it right there we have about two or three pictures right there so it's a set of 11 feet high with moldings. It's 1400 Ghana. Um, initially, we didn't actually know that you can um, have it casted on site. So we try to go online, um, search as much as we can to find the best possible prices. So we went online. Um, if you've watched our previous video, you know where, where we'll be going to. We went to Gigi through you know a recommendation we found somebody who would come to site and then cast this um, design pillars and then his charge was very um, reasonable so the funny thing about this pillars is that the charge is per set now um, somebody might ask what is um, a, a set or what do they call a set so assuming that you are having like you're building like a flat um house like what i mean by a flat house is um like just ground floor you know from see from um from um your foundation to lentil and then you put your ceiling if you have um as you you want to do those um design pillars then that is a set now for those of us who have another um another floor from from the 
foundation to the lentil level there will be an overcast concrete before the second one so looking at our building each of the pillars is a two set if you look at what we've done so far what have been done is just one set each this is like the first stage of the mold the uh, pillars and then after the um overcast pillars sorry after the overcasting uh concrete for the first floor um he would come and continue um the other set so for now this is um the first set that we had him do and um we had to provide him with uh, um, the materials for the job sand cement um yeah sand stones, and cement yeah stones yeah and water or um he used 26 bags of cement for those precast pillars so um somebody will say that maybe the thousand four of the um, the thousand four the five hundred of the already casted pillars, pillars. involved the, <laughs> the cement the, you know the the materials yeah um and just let us know what you think do you think it makes sense to charge a thousand four hundred Ghana cities for an already um you know the uh, casting an already casted pillars that you have to buy and then bring to site or the one that you have to you provide the materials and then they cast it on site so the one that was casted on site one set was um 200 200 cities. ghana it was two yeah 200 one ghana. Set was 200 ghana cities so with the and we cast it about 10 or 12 10 or 12 yes. yeah let us know what you think how did yours go let us know how much you got it for and and also um i think they would have to create a base okay yes. they would have to create a base for your pillar to sit on correct but i think it's not everybody that creates a base but looking at our design yes it know, has a base yeah, we had to create a base for it now so you know you have the option of going in for a concrete base or a block base correct so, and we decided to go for the concrete base. Why? We feel like it's it's, it's stronger. Right. I mean, right. that's our preference. So guys, that's all we have for you today. If you have enjoyed this video so far, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And we will most definitely see you in our next video. Be safe out there, guys. Thank you for watching.